All right, let me do a little bit of studying on this. Because I see a lot of these people here holding numerous different titles. And so, I feel I need to have one of my own as well. Because, fuck Destiny 2. But the problem here is which one would be appropriate to go for at this time. Because each one, in order for me to get a certain seal that'll award me the title, I have to do a number of different triumphs. So the question here is, which one is the one I'm closest to right now? And since this is a Gambit relevant seal, let's take a look to see what you have to do. Done it. Done it. Done it. Done it. Don't know what the hell that is. Complete the associate associated badge on the collection screen in order to claim this triumph. So when you okay, so when you get everything else, then this one clicks off, and then when this clicks off, then you have all eleven of them. So you basically have to have ten of them done for the eleventh one to click. When a gambit match with a gambit weapon equipped in every slot doable but I need to have a specific team with me in order to assure that the win can happen defeat four opposing guardians in a single invasion I've only done that just the one time that's excessively hard to do and this is for dredgen I have six out of eleven accomplishments in order to have the title but I don't actually have the means in which to complete it at this time Next one here is Unbroken, which as much as I've been playing Crucible all last season in order to get the exclusive Crucible relevant exotic shell, I thought I should be close enough to have this glory without becoming a no-life at Crucible, but we all must sacrifice great things. Achieve a glory rank of Legend in multiple seasons. Okay, so that's required to get all the way up in Crucible standings up to Legendary status three times over in one season. Not easy to do, but doable. Earn weapon rewards from the Fabled Glory Rank. Earn weapon rewards. Alright, so amidst the Fabled Rank, which I, I think that comes from... Yeah, it's from either or. It doesn't have to be just competitive or regular crucible. It's either or. That's just three. Reset your Valor rank within a single season. I've only reset it three times. Earn glory ranks across all seasons. Achieve a glory rank of legend in any season. That's not going to be easy to do, because that comes from competitive. Earn the maximum glory win streak bonus of any season. That's basically going five games without losing, and you get this one. Damn it, I can't get this one either. I can work towards getting it further, but it would require me to delve so... F it w I have to delve so far back into this damn game in order to get that far. Alright, put this one on the back burner for Dredgen. Alright, Chronicler... Pff, no, because that has to do with lore, and I don't hunt lore in this game. River's Bane, that's illogical. I don't do raids long enough or consistent enough in order to have a shot at it. Curse Breaker. Curse Breaker is actually the closest one. Alright, let's take a look at this one. Complete the associated badge on the collection's screen in order to claim this triumph. Alright. Collect all the Arkama bones in the Dreaming City. Don't know what the hell that is. Huh. I'll be damned. So basically collecting all the bones 
and then finding out whatever this is that's just two accomplishments and then when I have all that then I guess that's where this one will be unlocked and then I'll have curse breaker and the title of curse breaker mm, okay I like that I like the sound of this so far I like the sound of all the stuff here between all these titles you the viewers I'm gonna leave this also to you to make the choice and see which one seems like it would be the most logical one in the poll below between either Dredgen, Unbroken, or Cursebreaker. One of those three titles is one I'm going to be trying to go for. I'll have my vote there. You guys vote. Let me know which one you think I should go for. Peace. Y'all have a good one. Rodimus Prime, out.